This is something, a connection between us and God. Yeah, right. He's the only one who can judge us. Um, I believe that clothes does not have anything to do with religion. Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys. Hello guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jay Kim and here is... Jihad. <laughs> so today I invited her to ask some question about hijab. Yeah. Actually, I already interviewed some Muslim girls. Why do you wear hijab? But there are also people who don't wear hijab. So I was curious why some people use hijab and why the other people don't use hijab. That's why I invited her. So yeah. are you ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> go. <laughs> Okay. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, so my name is Jihad and I'm from Tunisia, Tunis. Oh. Yeah, I have been living in Korea for four years oh. and I'm doing PhD in industrial engineering. <laughs> Imagine me being a professor. <laughs> <laughs> professor Jihad. <laughs> you want to take my classes? Come, come. Okay, so let's go to the main topic. Yeah, main topic. <laughs> so my first question is, do you think hijab is mandatory do they have to wear hijab mm, yes it is it's mandatory because mm. god said that allah said that it's in our religion it's a must to be like to put the hijab mm -hmm. but you have to put it properly or don't oh. for me i believe like hijab is something super precious mm. that represents muslims mm. you will be representing the muslim community wherever you go when you are putting mm. the hijab everyone will look at you and be like oh she's a muslim mm. so you have to know how to behave what mm. to say and how to dress up so if you are not up to this like huge responsibility mm -hmm. don't do it so for me I believe that I'm still far away to be eligible to put the hijab mm. so I will put it one day that's a must that's mm. something I can like confirm but not now because I don't deserve to put it yet mm. Like in my case, I do my prayers every day, five times a day. Mm. I fast. I don't drink alcohol ever, never. I have never been in a club. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Yeah. So I don't eat pork. I don't eat haram food. Mm. I eat just halal. I follow the rules, but it's a tiny percentage of the rules mm. that we have to follow. Mm. It's like the basics of being a Muslim, a real Muslim. Mm. And but the next level, it's it should be how you are like wearing. It's the hijab and everything else, you know. But just putting the hijab just for the style or just to cover your head, and you mm. are not doing what you have to do, mm. like you don't practice the religion you don't pray you don't fast you don't care about what you are eating you eat everything mm. what's the point of the clothes that's what I believe mm. so I think you should be first a good Muslim in the basic mm. way which means like prayers mm. food fasting mm. and stuff like that and then you go to the next level when you put the hijab so that's what I think, I think so you mean the more important thing is your belief that yes. what you behave in front of God not yes. like just clothes exactly yeah. because clothes it's like kind of you are doing it for people okay like i'm wearing this because oh i'm, I'm a muslim okay so what about that hidden connection between you and god you know because first you have to satisfy god you have to satisfy like you have to be true to yourself and true to god not just like showing people oh i'm a muslim but behind you are not doing anything related to islam so how can you say you are a good muslim okay like you will look at me be like oh look at her she's wearing like this why she's talking about islam i practice our religion i do my prayers five times a day i do everything i can to be a good muslim but i believe that i still far away to be real good muslim to be allowed to put the hijab because hijab for me is a huge responsibility it's a huge responsibility and there is criteria to put the hijab because hijab should cover you properly it's modesty you have to be covered it should not show like your body or anything so there is like it should be like kind of big sized clothes so it doesn't show anything if you are going to put it either put it properly or stay away from it so 
I think mm -hmm. don't make people point fingers to the hijab and Muslim people because of what you are doing. Mm -hmm. For example, for me, I went through so many like experiences. For example, I had so many Muslims in our department, but in Ramadan, I was the only one who's fasting. No one more. Fasting. No one, no one. Exactly, no one. They are the ones who always like judging and saying things about religion, but you are not even like fasting. But the thing is about that, for example, when you are a Muslim, you have to show a good image. You are presenting a huge community, right? So if you are Muslim and you are not fasting and you are surrounded with so many people who are doesn't know anything about Islam, so what they are really thinking they'd be like asking oh why she's fasting and why you are not you see yes. people will be questioning you so for example for me Korean will come to me be like they are Muslims you are Muslim why you are fasting they are not you should not fast see so many people are not fasting you are the only one fasting mm -hmm. this is the thing you know then you'll be like how am I supposed to explain myself I agree that you cannot judge the people because of the hijab you cannot know based on someone's clothes if he is like a believer or not if he's mm -hmm. a religious or not you know it's not because that person is putting Islamic clothes it means that he is religious he practice in his he doing everything you cannot judge people mm -hmm. everyone is free to do whatever they want that's I believe you want to put the hijab, put it. You don't want to pray, it's your business. But you cannot judge people out of their clothes. Be like, oh, she's putting the hijab, so she's more religious than you are. She might not be praying, she might not be doing anything related to the practices, like practicing the, the religion. But I do. Okay, who's closer? We cannot know. This is something, a connection between us and God. Yeah, right. He's the only one who can judge us. Um, yeah. Who's true and being true to himself and to God, and who is not. So... I believe that clothes does not have anything to do with religion. It doesn't represent anything. You cannot tell that person is like religious or not. That's what I believe. Because so, I saw so many cases. Yeah. So for you, it's a huge responsibility. That's why you don't wear hijab? Yes. That's why I don't wear it yet. I keep saying yet. Because yeah. one day I will put it. Hopefully I'll be stay alive. I don't know, maybe I will die tomorrow. <laughs> Do you think hijab should be a choice? Yes, hijab uh -huh. should be a choice. I believe that. Because if someone like force you to do something, yeah. you will do it without... They don't know why. Yeah. yeah, it's like I'm forced to do it. I don't feel it, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, if you sure. don't feel it and you don't really want it, mm -hmm. why you are doing it? Why I'm doing it? And you know that. Yeah. If someone force you something, then... You want I, to do I, the opposite. I yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I want to do the opposite. If man. my parents tell me, hey, study. Why this. should I do it? I don't yeah. want to do it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I used to be like that all the time. When I was a kid, my mom would be like, go study. No, <laughs> if you tell me to study, I'm not studying. Let me be. I will study by myself when I feel that. That's but, yeah. two months in <laughs> Uh, so I think so that you don't need to force them to wear yeah, hijab. No, it's your own choice. Because if you choose it and you do it, you will like hold on it. You will want to be like, okay, this is something super precious to me. I want to hold on it. But if someone force you to do it, be like, oh my God. Yes, that's Every true. time I have to pray and your mom be like, hey, go and pray. And be like, I don't want to pray. You see? But if you just like do it because you choose to do it, no one will come to tell you go to pray, go to do this, you know? Important thing is they should understand why this happened and why do yes. I have to do this and Education why do I have to keep this low. Education is important for me. Education. Mm -hmm. Educate your kids first. Educate why you should do this. Let them know the reason mm -hmm. behind these things. Don't come to someone and be like, you have to do this because God said that. Okay, how am I supposed to know that? You yeah, know, right. you cannot know that. We read it in the book, but why? Because believing is really hard. It's mm -hmm. a level that's hard to reach, you know. It's just like coming to someone, tell him information and ask him to do that. Be like, why should I do it? Yeah, right. But help people, like guide them to understand mm -hmm. and learn why. Convince them. Like mm -hmm. convincing is the most important thing once you are convinced about something you can do it without like being swayed later or someone can like influence you later and like change your mind so if you are like believing it it's game over no one can like change your mind or like control you or influence you somehow like for me for example uh, my friends all of them they are foreigners they drink i go with them but i don't drink because my belief is strong i don't do it it's not because be like oh no one is seeing i'm not doing it because no one is seeing me it's because 
because I believe that it's my own beliefs. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it, even if like I'm the home, only human being in this planet, and you'd be like putting alcohol in front of me, like drinking. I'm not going to drink it because okay. I believe that I should not do it. Beliefs are the most important things. Yeah, that's really good point because yeah. if some people think if you don't wear hijab, then they think ah your belief is not strong or yes. why you don't wear hijab. But it belief has nothing is different. to do. It has nothing to do. So either you have a strong belief and you are determined to do something no one can change your mind you know so that's what i believe i don't want to be like just trying to show people a good image while i'm doing something opposite behind people you know i want my relation with god to be clean based on honesty and strong and i don't care about what people are thinking be like oh look at you how you are wearing okay well, so what okay yeah. i love clothes what am i supposed to do but yeah that's something like between me and god so we cannot judge people based on their clothes so yeah mm, yeah that was a really good point it was really informative to me because i was always curious about that why someone wear hijab and why mm. someone don't wear hijab but i think i realized that now the important thing is belief not clothes belief. even if you wear hijab if you don't follow the rules do haram things then then what's the point putting the hijab is showing that you are like religious you, know, mm. like you are representing the whole muslim community mm. so you have to be up to that responsibility yeah, I think so too. but if you are just like putting the hijab and doing all the haram things so you mm. are just like destroying the reputation of the muslims mm. i don't know what's the point like okay, tell okay. me <laughs> So I think, in my opinion, you should respect every human being, whether he wear hijab or not. I think you cannot judge them. It's their choice. So I think we should respect that and try to get to know about people's yeah. personality, how they think, their mindset. Yeah. Try to figure out the real color of people. Mm. You know, that's the most important thing. Their beliefs and mm. their personality is more important. You cannot like see person like, wearing the hijab. Oh my God, no, he's a terrorist. Let me go away. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Then, like, what is that? You know, you cannot do that. Yeah. Try to approach people, ask. It's okay. Like, asking is for free. Like, who's going to say, no, I'm not going to answer you. Mm. If you don't know something, try to find, like, the answer. Just don't follow blindly what media say, what other people say. Mm. Approach people, be open. Like, hug other people. It's okay, people. <laughs> yeah. Not really? It's yeah. in the <laughs> Can I? No, like it's like I'm saying it, you know, hugging other culture. You cannot know, hug know, the know, culture. Hug <laughs> and love each other. Yeah. Okay? yeah, just accept each other like the way they are. Like there is always good in the bad and there is bad in the good. Like just be happy. Like love people, love yourself, okay. you know. Thank you for answering me. I will come back with another content. So be safe and be careful and take care of yourself and love yourself. Love yourself and, and follow him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Shukran. Shukran. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. Singsangi shinanda. Shinanda? Where? Nice singika. Gotcha.